insects at your fingertips, written by Judy Nayer, illustrated by Grace Goldberg. Ants. There are more ants than any other creature on earth. Like all insects, ants have six legs, three body sections, and a pair of antenna. Strong as an ant. Ants are very strong. Some can lift things that are 50 times their own weight. That's like a person carrying a small elephant. A colony of ants. Ants live together in large groups called colonies. A colony can have hundreds, thousands, or even millions of ants. Ants dig underground nests with many rooms and tunnels. Bees. Bees live in colonies too. A hive of bees may have 50,000 members. Most bees live for just six weeks. Busy as a bee. Some bees fly many miles each day collecting nectar, the sweet juice found in flowers. A honey bee may visit 500 flowers to gather a load of nectar for the hive. It takes 1,000 loaves to make just one teaspoon of honey. Dragonflies. Dragonflies have long, thin bodies, two pairs of long, lacy wings, and huge eyes. These skillful hunters fly over ponds and rivers, catching other insects in midair. Expert flyers. Dragonflies are famous for their fast flying and the amazing feats they can do in the air. They can soar straight up like a rocket, dive down, twist and turn, hover in one place, and even fly backwards, all at high speeds. Grasshopper and cr grasshoppers and crickets. There are over 17,000 types of crickets and grasshoppers in the world. Grasshoppers are active during the day, while most crickets are night insects. Music makers. Grasshoppers and crickets are among the noisiest insects. They don't sing with voices as we do. Instead, they make loud chirping sounds by rubbing two parts of their bodies together the way a musician plays a violin. Champion jumpers. Crickets and grasshoppers are the long distance jumpers of the insect world. Some can jump 20 times their own length. That's like a person leaping past two big buses in a single bound. Beetles. There are more kinds of beetles than any other animal. 300,000 different kinds. Beetles have a hard, shiny back made up of two front wings. These wings protect the beetle's body and its thin back wings. Warning colors. Many beetles have bright colors or bold patterns and look like beautiful jewels. In fact, these beetles are poisonous or bad tasting. The colors help birds and other insect eaters remember to stay away or they will get sick. Record breakers. The African Goliath beetle is the world's heaviest insect. It weighs a quarter of a pound. The shiny green tiger beetle is the fastest runner of all insects. It goes two feet per second. The longhorn beetle has the longest antenna of any insect up to 10 inches. Living lights. Fireflies and glow worms are beetles that can light up at night. They flash their lights on and off to send special messages to each other. Friends and enemies. Ladybugs are very helpful beetles. They eat huge numbers of insects that destroy plants. Striped Colorado beetles are harmful. They eat potato plants and can do a lot of damage. Butterflies and moths. How can you tell butterflies and moths apart? Most butterflies fly by day while moths fly by night. Butterflies are usually more brightly colored than moths and their antenna end in knobs. Butterflies hold their wings up over their backs while they rest. 
while moths sit with their wings out to the sides. Sweet sips. Like bees, butterflies and moths feed on nectar. They use their long tongues to reach deep into the flowers, into flowers and suck nectar as you would sip through a straw. Growing up. Butterflies and moths go through stages to become adults. They start life as eggs and hatch into young caterpillars. After more growing and changing, they finally become full-grown butterflies or moths. Little and large. Butterflies and moths come in many sizes. There are moths as small as a grain of rice and butterflies the size of your fingernail. The largest ones are bird wing butterflies, giant swallowtail butterflies, and giant atlas moths. They can be 8 to 12 inches across. Rainbow colors. Butterflies and moths come in every color in the rainbow. Their wings are covered with thousands of tiny scales of different colors to form some of the most beautiful designs in nature. Hidden insects. Many insects protect themselves from enemies by staying hidden. They have colors, shapes, and patterns that match the place where they live so they are very hard to see. This is called camouflage. Disappearing acts. Many butterflies and moths disappear into their surroundings. Glass wing butterflies are almost invisible because you can see through them. The sphinx moth blends into the bark of a tree. With folded wings, the Indian leaf butterfly looks like a dead leaf. Lookalikes. Some insects have special shapes that give them their disguises. Stick insects are long and thin and look like sticks or twigs. Leaf insects are flat and broad and look just like leaves. Tree hoppers have odd shapes that make them look like thorns on a branch. Sitting prey. Pretty. To stay hidden, insects that use camouflage must stay still for a long time. The praying mantis can sit for many hours waiting for an insect to eat. Most manatees are green or brown and blend in the leaves, but some are bright pink and look exactly like flowers. Thanks for listening. If you like what you heard, please click like and subscribe.